Hello there guys, I'm Rasmus from HexholmWeb.com and today I'm going to show you how to find the exact keyword search volume using Google Keyword Planner. Now, most SEOs like myself utilize third-party tools for keyword research and these include Ahrefs and Keyword Finder. Now, though these are great tools to use, most often they do have some inconsistencies in terms of uh, displaying the correct search volume and this just gives you a bad view of how good a keyword is exactly you can't really pay, paint the full picture um, with an inaccurate number um, so I'm going to show you how to use Google Keyword Planner to actually access a very very accurate um, search volume okay so for this example we'll be using the keyword guitar amp. Um, if we see it here on Keyword Finder, we'll note that it has 18,000 um, searches per month, while on Ahrefs, it displays it as being 12,000 per month. And obviously, this is an inconsistency, and it happens all of the time with all of these tools. There are massive fluctuations and underestimations and so on. So, we're going to get this number from, um, from Keyword Planner itself. Once you're inside Google Ads, you want to go to Tools and click on Keyword Planner. Now we're presented by two options. SEOs almost exclusively use the Find New Keywords option, but they're missing out on a lot of fun by not utilizing the Search Volume and Forecast tool. And that's what we're going to be using to get the exact search volume. So we click here and we type in our keyword guitar amp. Now instead of just clicking, clicking get started, we're going to do something more here. We're going to add braces around our keyword. And the reason being, if we didn't, it would go for broad matches of the keyword as well. It would simply include variations and thus giving us a much higher search volume. So yeah, it would go for stuff like keyword, no, sorry, guitar amp, guitar amps, and guitar amplifier and amplifiers and so on. Now this way we narrow it down to the exact match like we have on Ahrefs, exact match 12,000 and 18,000 on Keyword Finder. Yeah, so we're gonna click get started. And I already have it set up here, so I see the data. But most likely, if this is the first time you utilize this tool, this will be set to zero. Now, the idea is to set this number as high as possible. So I'm just going to go 999, and I can see that 77 is the max. Another thing I want to do is go to locations up here, and I want the global search volume like I get here and here. So I'm going to remove all locations. Maybe you have some, maybe you don't, um, but it's just important to check. And also if you want to do local or country targeting of a keyword, like seeing the volume in a specific city, you can add it here and make sure to change the language as well. And obviously I'm going all locations in English. Now, the next thing we want to do is specify the interval and obviously we want the um, the search volume for an entire month because this is also what is represented here. Now we simply just click next month here it's fairly simple we're in September right now and it's just gonna go for the entirety of October here so 31 days. Now I see the data right here and the reason this works um, is simply because this is just an example of if we were to place an ad for the keyword guitar amp on Google um, and we set the CPC to 77 this is the max CPC and obviously it's completely unrealistic nobody's gonna pay that much for a click but this simply means that if we were to pay this much we would get shown on all searches now so this is the expectancy we will get from a, an ad with such a high bid on this keyword. 
Now we would reach everybody. We would reach what is said to be 12,900 impressions. So just under 30, 13K impressions. And this is simply the number that matches the volume. This is how many people would search for this, or at least is expected to it in the next month. And the next month is, is obviously gonna be the most accurate one. Um, yeah, and also this does provide some really nice insights such as the expected amount of clicks you would receive for the first position and the expected CTR and so on. It's, it's really useful information here and it's very, very accurate because it comes from Google itself and, and they base this on their own data rather than a third party tool that just tries to simulate this, um, this data. So yeah, that, that's fairly simple. I hope you really enjoyed this video. So thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.